Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture. In this video, I will explain about the rice grain quality assessment. This assessment will be based only on the length of the rice grains. Color and texture features I am not going to cover in this uh, video. So before starting, uh, let's have a look on the contents. Uh, first, I will explain the need of the automated rice grain quality assessment. Then I will explain the, the various steps of proposed scheme, which is based on the morphological image processing. And then I will uh, explain how to solve the problem of the touching grains. Then we will discuss the MATLAB code to implement this scheme. And in the last, we will uh, rigorously test this MATLAB code for offline and online mode. So let's start this uh, video. So let's uh, first see what is the need of the rice grain quality assessment. Actually, uh, we have the rice grains of various size, colors and shapes. And the proposed classification scheme is based on the size of the grains. Okay. So we have the rice grains uh, as we are aware of the different uh, length like long grains, medium grains and the short grains. So uh, the quality of the rice grains mainly just by their length. But we look for their texture, color and aroma. Definitely aroma you cannot deal with the image processing but the length, texture and the color can be judged using the image processing techniques. Also during the bulk purchase at the farmer end, the buyer can automate the whole process of the grain selection. And also in, a, in an automatic rice packaging plant, this scheme can be utilized. Okay, So to automate the grain selection process, this technique can be used. So now let's have a look on the proposed scheme. So this scheme is based on, as I said, morphological image processing. So it is implemented uh, for both offline and real-time applications. So in an offline mode, I will provide some images of the rice grain to the system and system will tell me whether the grains are of good quality or not on the basis of the length. And in real-time mode, a video camera will be attached to the system. So this camera will capture the rice grain images in real time and will notify me whether the rice grains are of good length or not. So this uh, proposed scheme has the ability to handle the problems of touching grains and the uneven illumination. So just consider this image where we have the touching grains. So during the sample, when you put the rice grain, there may be uh, this case like several uh, grains are touching with each other. So in binderization, during the binderization process, this will create a large white blob. So that will uh, create the problem for the algorithm to uh, give the proper outcome. So this problem is uh, dealt and this is the case of the uneven illuminations. I mean the lighting is not proper. So you can, uh, you, can, you can consider this image where the upper part of the image is more brighter than the lower part, which is the darker. So uh, as we know that uh, such types of image having the uneven illuminations, they are very difficult to binderize. So binderization always uh, uh, create uh, the, some undesired artifacts in the output. So that will again uh, affect the performance of the, uh, your algorithm. So we are dealing this uh, problem uh, with adaptive binderization. Although we have more powerful algorithms available to deal such problems, but uh, here, uh, assuming that light is sufficient, we are dealing with a only adaptive binderization scheme. So now let's have a look on the complete scheme. So this is my rice image. And first step is to resize it and the binderize it. Okay. After that, uh, we'll go for the erosion using the structural element of type disk having radius 2. Then we will clear all the border elements, I mean all the rice grains which are lying on the border. And then we will go for the morphological hole filling process. Then we will do the connected component analysis. After that we will find the area of each rice grain. And then with help of uh, those areas on the basis of the area criterion we will try to remove the touching grains. Because touching grain will create the larger area so with a particular threshold comparison we can remove the larger areas. So after this, uh, we will have the uh, rice grain which are isolated with each other. Then we will find the length of each rice grain and then comparing the length of each rice grain with a uh, threshold, 
uh, we can uh, uh, find the outcome. So now we have put the condition if the, the rice grain, 80% rice grains are above threshold, then our uh, rice is of good length. Otherwise, rice sample is rejected. Okay, so that is a very simple scheme. So let's see uh, how the, uh, the touching grain problem is solved. Actually, uh, uh, this problem can be solved on the basis of areas. So all the grain areas are uh, compared with a threshold and larger areas are removed because touching grains will create the larger area as compared to the single grains, right? So just consider this image. Uh, here you can see that lots of uh, rice grains are touching with each other. So this is the outcome of uh, binderization and the erosion. So after erosion and binderization, you can see these uh, several uh, large areas blobs. So uh, when you give this image directly to the system, obviously your outcome will not be uh, appropriate. There may be the false outcome. So first we have to remove these uh, larger areas. So this is the outcome uh, of uh, uh, comparing areas with a threshold. So this is uh, 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 having the areas which are larger than the threshold. And, uh, and this is the outcome where the area is uh, lesser than the threshold. So this is the image which we need. Uh, here you can see that all uh, the rice grains are isolated. So now this will be fetched to our algorithm and where the lengths will be computed for each rice grain. And uh, now let's come to the MATLAB code. So this is the code for the offline quality assessment. So first we will uh, read the image with UI get file. A system dialog box will appear where you can select your uh, image and uh, then uh, uh, checking whether your image is grayscale or color image. If it is RGB, then converting that into the grayscale. Then resizing that image to uh, the 256 width. All images are uh, resized to this uh, 256 width irrespective of the height. Height can be uh, variable, okay? But width, width is fixed for all. And then binderization is done using adaptive binderization. Then hole filling, morphological hole filling is done. And then structural element is defined of the type disk of uh, radius two. And then erosion process is completed. And then border objects are cleared. And uh, after that, uh, the image is uh, uh, checked whether the rice grains are available or not. If the no rice grain, uh, then we will skip this code. If uh, rice grains are there, then this section will be executed, okay? So first we will do the connected component analysis. Uh, from those connected component analysis with the region properties, we find the area of each rice grain. And uh, then we find the mean area. And uh, this is the threshold, 1.1 times of that mean area. It is empirically defined. Uh, uh, in your case, you can change it uh, to make uh, more uh, efficient outcome okay but in my case it is working fine so here I am uh, neglecting all the areas uh, which are lesser than 1.1 of main area then uh, then subtracting this image from the main image you are getting the isolated rice grains okay so all the joint grains I mean the larger blobs are removed in LL so then again doing the connected component analysis of this image and with the region properties, I am finding the major axis length and minor axis length of each rice grain. So this is the rice grain. So this is the major axis length, let's say L1, and this is the minor axis length, uh, let's say L2. Okay. So uh, now uh, separating these major axis and minor axis values, and then we have defined a threshold, okay? This is the important. Here I have uh, defined the threshold as four. You can change it according to your requirement. Uh, what is this four actually? Uh, this threshold uh, uh, will be compared with this MMR. That is a ratio of major axis and minor axis length. So for a rice grain, the L1 and L2, I mean the MMR, MMR is L1 upon L2 major axis upon minor axis length okay so here i have uh, put the condition that if mmr uh, is lesser than four sorry lesser than four uh, my uh, uh, grain will be considered as a, uh, a smaller grain okay if mmr is greater than four or equal to four it will be treated as uh, the long grain 
So I am counting that uh, how many uh, grains are having uh, this ratio greater than the threshold. Then, uh, then uh, producing this outcome. So having this condition, if uh, uh, the 80 percent grains are having the length greater than this threshold, I will simply display the rice is of good length, otherwise rice sample is rejected. If there are no rice grains, obviously this message will be displayed, no rice grains. So this text string is inserted into uh, uh, the image and then image is displayed as the output. So this code is complete, very simple code. And now I will show you that how to run this code in the MATLAB. So let me jump to the MATLAB. Uh, this is my editor and this program is already written. So I will just run it. Okay, so it is asking me to choose uh, my image. So I will choose this image and let's see what happens. Okay, so it is saying that rice is of good length. Of course, rice is of good length. So output is correct. Now choose another image, uh, this one, uh, touching grains problem. Here you can see, yes, uh, the rice is of good length again. So lots of uh, grains are touching with each other. Still, we are getting the correct outcome. And uh, then uh, let's take another image having uneven elimination, this one. So in this image also, you can see that uh, in spite of uneven elimination, this program is working fine, uh, displaying the right output that is rice is of good length. Now select uh, image of short length uh, uh, rice grains, this one. And yes, you can see here I have taken the broken rice grains. So rice sample is rejected. So this is how my program is performing. Okay. So this is uh, for offline uh, working. Now let me show you the online mode. So in online mode, uh, we have to attach a camera. Okay, so in this line you can see a webcam is attached to my laptop. Uh, the resolution is fixed because the webcams are uh, having the default uh, resolution, different different resolution. So uh, capturing the very large frame is not uh, required. Uh, a small image 640 by 480 is very much sufficient for this outcome. Okay, so the low resolution is set and uh, the webcam is attached. Now see this line, USB to PC camera. Don't copy this code blindly. In your case, this line may be different, okay? Uh, MATLAB is identifying my camera with this line. In your case, your hardware, since your camera will be different, so this line will change, okay? So be sure what to write here in your code. So. Uh, this you can learn uh, how to attach a webcam with a MATLAB. Uh, for that, I have already uh, prepared one complete uh, video. So go to my channel and search that video and go through that video before running this. So you will learn how to attach a webcam to the MATLAB. Okay. So after that, uh, uh, now see uh, a video player is uh, initialized and uh, a while loop is created. Okay. So this is the while loop which will run indefinitely until you close that video player. So inside the while loop, the code is same, which is already uh, you have seen in the offline mode. Okay. So this structure is same. I mean, the program is same. Uh, the code is just put inside a while loop uh, after the webcam initialization. Okay. So everything is same. I mean, all those finding areas uh, comparing with that mean area. Uh, with the threshold, I mean removing the joint grains, finding major axis, minor axis lengths, and uh, defining the threshold, comparing the major axis, minor axis ratio with the threshold, and then displaying the outcome. Okay. So this text string is displayed uh, on the image, and then this image is given to the video player for the display. So this code is simple again. So now let me run this code in the MATLAB and show you uh, what outcome you will achieve from this okay but before uh, running the code be sure that your camera is attached and it is working and uh, uh, as a uh, background just put a black paper okay i recommend the black paper uh, because you are putting the white rice grain on that black paper so the bandization will be good 
so i have put a black paper and on that i will put the right screen so camera is my functioning right now so let me run this code and okay so this is a live screen i mean this is what my camera is capturing right now you can see the processing is written here and you can see the frames so this is the live view and here i have not put any rise screen so it is saying the no rise screens right so now i will put the smaller rise screens and see what happens uh, this one so i have put few rise screens and see the outcome rise sample is rejected okay so that is correct let me put more rise screens rise sample is rejected okay so now let me remove these screens so no rise screen message comes again and now i am putting the rise screen with good length okay so i am just putting the three rise screens and see the message rise is of and see the message rise is of good length okay now let me put few more uh, rise screens and see the message rise is of good length okay the rise is of good length okay so this is how my program is running in the online mode i mean you can just put any rice uh, uh, in front of the camera uh, this algorithm is able to tell you the correct output so this is all about this uh, video lecture uh, i hope you have learned something new and uh, you have enjoyed this session so i hope you will uh, implement you will try to implement this as your small project or you can uh, even make uh, this as a large project i mean uh, here i have put only the length feature uh, for the uh, rice you can go for color you can go for color and texture okay for the rice grain and even you can go for artificial intelligence i mean you can uh, put some deep neural network to classify uh, your uh, rice grains so with these uh, suggestions i hope you have enjoyed this session so thank you very much thank you all of you for sparing your valuable time please like this and share this video to the maximum thank you once again and have a nice time